so today we are going to discuss the rhythmical excitation of the heart how the heart is basically um, contracting how the rhythm or the impulse for the contraction of the atria and the ventricles are generated how those impulses are conducted to different parts of the heart and how they coordinate the different parts of the heart the atria and the ventricles so that they contract effectively so basically the heart has a specialized system for the generating electrical uh, rhythmical electrical impulses to cause rhythmical contraction of the heart muscle and conducting these impulses rapidly rapidly through the heart so we see that the heart has basically special system for generation for generation and then conducting the impulses the impulses are just the like electrical currents these are small electrical currents which are produced in the different parts of the heart and which not only produced not only generated but also conducted to different parts of the heart so the process of the generation is rhythmical it is rhythmical it is in a special fashion rhythm is a rhythm means like it is generated after every uh, fixed interval of time like 0.7 seconds or 1 second so this there is a special rhythm the rhythm is most of the time the same in normal circumstances in normal human being without any disease of the heart if there is some a, a diseased heart like uh, in heart uh, myocardial infarction heart attack whatever or congestive heart failure the rhythm gets disturbed there are a lot of factors which disturb the rhythm but normally the special system for the arrhythmic uh, rhythmical excitation of the heart is responsible for generating and conducting the impulses so the basically the the generation process the generation process make sure that the uh, the regeneration of the impulses is rhythmical and this rhythmical excitation of the heart will cause contraction it make sure that it cause rhythmical generation with which will cause rhythmical contraction or contraction in a rhythm or contraction in a specific fashion of different heart muscles then the conducting the conducting process the conducting process make sure that these impulses which has been generated they get conducting conducted to different parts of the heart so we have discussed in detail that the the function of the atria the function of the ventricle the function of the different atrioventricular valves we have discussed the cardiac cycle but how this cardiac cycle is functioning how the atria are functioning how the ventricles are functioning how the atria and the ventricles they coordinate with each other this is basically to through this special system for rhythmical excitation now due to this process due to this rhythmical generation and conduction of the impulses the atria the atria when this system functions normally the atria contract 1 by 6th of a second before the ventricles this system makes sure that the left and the right and left atria they contract 1 by 6th of a second ahead of the ventricles blood from the superior vena cava blood from inferior vena cava get entered into uh, fill uh, get emptied into the right atrium when the right atrium is full of blood at the same time blood from the pulmonary veins uh, uh, from pulmonary uh, arteries it is coming to the uh, it is coming to the uh, right uh, the left atria so both the right and left atria get filled the right from the deoxygenated blood which is coming from the body and the left atrium which get filled with the oxygenated blood coming from the lungs when they get filled they contract 
but when they contract the ventricles are not contracting so they contract about 1 by 6 of a second if we have a 6 portion of a second then uh, in one portion the contraction of the atria will occur and after the 6 portion the contraction of the ventricle will occur this time this much time 1 by 6 of a second time is allowed so that blood from the atria go and fill the ventricles if the atria and the ventricles if the atria and the ventricles they contract simultaneously then there will be no conduction no uh, pumping of the blood so the nature has made sure that the atria contract 1 by 6 of a second before the ventricles so that the ventricles get filled and after that after the filling process the ventricles contract, uh, contraction occur and that system which makes sure that the atria contract 1 by 6 of a second is through this uh, special system for rhythmical excitation of the heart now all portion of the ventricles contract simultaneously for the effective pressure generation of the ventricles this contraction of the ventricles that will occur simultaneously that is also through this rhythmical excitation of the heart and the the purpose of the effective simultaneous contraction is to generate effective pressure if one portion of the ventricles contract before the other like both the ventricles are not co coordinating with each other then the pumping of the ventricles will not be effective so to make sure that the ventricular muscle contraction occur simultaneously at the same time only then effective pressure will be generated and that process is through this rhythmical excitation of the heart now see what are the components of this rhythmical excitation system of the heart so the different components of this rhythmical excitation of the heart include first of all the sinoatrial node SA node this sinoatrial node is present in the atria and this is known as the pacemaker of the heart this sets the pace of the heart if rhythmical impulses from the SA node are uh, produced uh, being produced at a fast rate then the contraction of the heart will be fast if the impulses are produced uh, or generated at a slow rate then the contraction of the heart will be at a slow rate so this is basically the pacemaker of the uh, pacemaker of the heart so sinoatrial node is responsible for mainly for uh, the generation of rhythmical impulses these impulses from the SA node get get conducted directly to the atria so the impulses generated in the SA node they conducted get conducted to the atria and atria get excited and they contract but at the same time with the help of internodal pathway these lines are basically internodal pathway with the help of these internodal pathway the impulses generated in the SA node they come to another node known as the AV node or atrioventricular node these AV nodes are basically present in the between the atria and the ventricle the purpose of the AV node is to delay the purpose of the AV node is to delay the speed of impulse about 1 by 6 of a second we discussed that the atria contract 1 by 6 of a second before the contraction of the ventricles and this is because when impulse is generated in the SA node it get conducted to the atrial muscle at the same time and the atria contract at that the same time but that impulse when it reaches to the AV node it get delayed in the AV node so that the ventricles have enough time to get uh, to get enough blood and once they are full of blood only then should the ventricles contract 
So that process is made sure through this AV node. So we said that SA node is basically the pacemaker of the heart. Internodal pathway conduct the impulse from the SA node to the AV node or atrioventricular node. AV node is responsible for delaying the impulse about 1 by 6th of a second and then impulse from the ventricle it is it get conducted to the different parts of the ventricle through left bundle branch this is left uh, this is left bundle branch and right bundle branch this is right bundle branch so impulse get generated in the sa node it gets conducted into the atria directly and it get conducted to the AV node with the help of internodal pathway then it, the impulse get delayed in the AV node and after the AV node the impulse get conducted to different parts of the uh, ventricle through left bundle branch and right bundle branch. So with the help of these bundle branches the impulse goes deeply into different parts of the ventricle and it helps in the contraction of the ventricle so that a simultaneous con contraction of the all ventricular muscle occurs. So that's just a summary of the rhythmical excitation process of the heart which is basically responsible for generating the rhythmical electrical impulses to cause rhythmical contraction of the heart muscle and conducting, generating and conducting these impulses rapidly through the heart. Now when this system is functioning normally, when this system is functioning normally, the atria will contract about 1 by 6th of a second before the contraction of the ventricle so that it allow the filling, it allow the filling of the ventricle. And this system also makes sure that all portion of the ventricles contract simultaneously for effective pressure generation in the ventricles. And the components of this rhythmical excitation process of the heart or the electrical process of the heart in which this um, electrical impulses get generated and get conducted, they include the SA node, which acts as the pacemaker of the heart, then the internodal pathway, then the AV node or atrioventricular node and after that the left bundle branch and the right bundle branch. In the coming lectures we will discuss in detail the SA node, then we will discuss in detail the internodal pathways, AV node and bundle branches. Thanks a lot for watching the video.